Yeah, yeah but yeah. white's black's giving a lot of pieces away. Black's already down a lot of material. Ah, queen f1. She doesn't see queen f1, of course. And she doesn't like see queen f1. No. No, nah, but she's okay. She's down in exchange. Knight e five instead. She didn't. Um, she didn't find this like, weird looking defense. I think she just didn't see rook f three. Yeah, I mean it's hard to hard to see rook f three. It looks really weird. Well, hard is okay. It's not hard for you, but it's you know, there's there's some time and trouble. And also, she only has a, a less a little less than five minutes on the clock. So now we're expecting the um, in between move here. Queen takes f one, and then after rook takes f one, bishop takes c two. Oh, wait a minute. You're down a whole rook, not an exchange. Exactly. Oh, well, then you can resign, yeah. That's why it's strange that she didn't let her clock go down. Five she didn't see queen rook. f1? No, I don't believe it. What? It is very strange, and uh, I, I can't imagine, and this is an example where if you only have five minutes in the clock, if you're going down a whole rook, why not just think for four minutes until you find rook f3? How do you not That's see weird. queen f1? What? No, she must have seen it and just thought that she was losing otherwise. I don't think she didn't see it. I think she just thought she was getting made it. I, 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 or that she was just going to lose a whole piece on e4. Yeah, but that's better than losing a rook. Anna's like, why can't I play queen takes rook? So we do have a couple of questions exactly. about the Armageddon match, which seems like we're going to. Is the five seconds in the Armageddon game a, a delay or an increment? It is also increment, an increment. Right? Yeah. So the Armageddon game will be an increment. I have g5. Anna's making us suffer. I like that. She could just take right away if she's like, nah, I'll sit here for a few minutes. <laughs> that makes Irina suffer more also. Yeah, Irina, uh, Anna, why do you think she's thinking in this position? She's thinking about her bid? Do you think she's thinking both of them are <laughs> <laughs> Both of them are thinking about their bid right now. Gosh, these two players are such incredible fighters. Every year showing that, you know, they're both up to the task of winning the U.S. Women's Chess Championship. And we just like to see more women watching these games and, you know, come out and, uh, and duke it out with them one year. Because right now it seems that nobody approaches their level in the championship. Of course, they're the only two full-time professional players. I'm really confused why she's thinking so long. Maybe she doesn't see Queen takes room. Yeah, but that's, but that's, I, I don't know who I agree with now. <laughs> she sees queen takes off one. And she's thinking for three minutes? She just uh, she's 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 playing, she just doesn't She's playing, she's seen, she can't, I, I, Anna's such a sharp tactical player, I'd be surprised if she didn't see this in a, in a, like a two minute game, so she definitely sees it. I, I, I really think she, they might be thinking, like, I, there's, there's not going to be a lot of break before the next game. Let me think a little bit about my opening for the next game. Let me think about my bid. This is like an extra, adding an extra five minutes of rest. <laughs> I, I, I think that might be it, Ben. No comment. <laughs> oh, come on. We know that whenever you say no comment, you're going to say something really funny, so just out with it. Oh, my God. She didn't see it. She played Bishop Dick's Queen. Oh, I really, he was just shocked by that. Wow. Wow! Incredible! So this is on the board. Rook oh, E3 happened? followed by King E2, and now Rook A3 looks pretty good because C4 is hanging again. And that's going to be pretty ugly. And this did happen, and she didn't take on C5. She took to play Knight B2. No, taking on C5 looked pretty yeah. ugly after Bishop, Bishop B1. C4. Bishop B1 tying down Irina's pieces yet again. Bishop E3 quasi hitting C5. Um, Anna deciding just to take do some trades on um, d3 and play rook to c3 hitting c4 and uh, the idea is that it, when when all is said and done if Anna's is left with that a pawn we're going to be see, seeing something reminiscent of knock, the key game in the US championship Kamsky Nakamura where he just ran down with the a pawn what? 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 did Anna Zatonsky just blunder her rook and lose the game? Is that is that the case? We're gonna get we're just getting some quick confirmation here that that is indeed the case. So we were calling this game for Anna Zatonsky, and it looks like we might have seen an astonishing blunder here in the U.S. Women's Championship deciding the contest. Can you show it again? 
It yeah. looks like what? there was a pawn on c4, and Ana just played rook takes c4 in this position. Yeah, that's not Allowing good. knight takes c4. <laughs> and the game is over. Irina Crush, our new U.S. women's chess champion. A shocking finale here in the, um, in the women's championship. A, a shocking finale to my wallet. Oh. <laughs>